Bitdefender Email Security. Executive Tracking. In this demo, we will show how the executive tracking can prevent one of the most popular business email compromise type of attacks, which we see on the rise, especially during the global pandemic. We're talking about whaling attacks. A whaling attack, sometimes called a whale phishing attack, is a specific type of attack that targets vulnerable employees within an organization. By impersonating a C-level executive with the purpose of gaining some credibility in order to obtain either financial or sensitive information from the victims. Without further ado, let's get started. From the Control Center console, let's click on Email Security section, then click on Open Console. Once it opens, let's go ahead and click on Broad Email Security Message Rules. Then navigate to the top right hand side corner and click on the plus sign. Provide a meaningful name for the rule and click on Add. It is valid to mention that for the executive tracking to work properly, you need to be integrated with Active Directory. As a first step, let's add a direction condition. Click on Configure and make sure that you add matches and for the condition itself, inbound. Then let's scroll down and look for the executive tracking condition. Drag it and drop it into the selected conditions area and click on configure. Make sure that the match type is set to matches and that the condition value is set to contains. Then go ahead and click on save. Now it is time for the final action. In this case, quarantine company. Once drag and drop, click on configure and for the value, you can either use a default one, in this case, spam or virus, or you can use an already created one. In my case, executive email tracking. Once selected, go ahead and click on save. Moving forward, we can click on Save. Navigate to the Mailboxes section and make sure that you check the box for Exec Tracking. In this case, for Joe Johnson, who is our company's CEO. Notice that the scope of protection is not only limited to the specific mailbox, but also includes aliases. For this very first attack scenario, we're going to use the default one, in this case, jjohnson at bitdefender-msp.com. Now, let's switch to the attacker side to understand what he's trying to do. In this case, he's using a fake COVID-19 support campaign in order to target an internal user to making him believe that this email is coming from Joe Johnson, the company's CEO. Notice that in the body of the message, there is a link to a website in order for the victim to log in and donate money. Also notice that the email that the attacker is using, as well as the front name, corresponds to our CEO information. Now it's time for the attacker to send the email. On the Bitdefender side, on the email security dashboard, you can notice that the executive tracking control has intercepted and blocked this attack attempt. If you click on it, you can see all the details belonging to this very first attack attempt. For further analysis, we can double click on the log and navigate through the different sections within the message. Now let's go back to the mailboxes section and select the CEO alias. From the attacker side, Let's run this scenario one more time, but in this case, using the CEO alias. And once again, executive tracking has prevented this attack from happening. But in this case, looking at the CEO email alias. Thank you for watching. We hope that this session has been informative for you.
And for more information, visit us at www.bitdefender.com slash business slash gravity zone dash add-ons slash email dash security dot html.